So what is the meaning actually? 17 divides m square plus m minus 90. So you can factorize m minus 9 into m plus 10, right? Suppose m divides a b means m should divide a or m should divide b, right? Therefore, 17 divides m minus 9 or 17 divides m plus 10. You have to remember congruence. Suppose 13 is congruent to, you know, railway time, it's 1 modulo 12, right? It is by definition is what? 12 divides 13 minus 1. So, definitely 12 divides 12. The same way, A is congruent to B modulo, M means, the definition is what? M divides A minus B. That means, A minus B, you can write M times some K. So, for example, if I take 2 divides 4, then how to write? 4 is equal to 2 times 2. Generally, if A divides B means, so B is equal to some A times some K. Understand? You can use this the idea here. 17 divides m minus 9 means, what is the meaning actually? m is congruent to 9 modulo 17. The same way, you can see here, 17 divides m plus 10 means, m is congruent to minus 10 modulo 17. How to convert it into positive remainder? You can see minus 10 is congruent to 7 modulo 17. Why? Because 17 divides minus 10 minus 7, correct? That is 17 divides minus 17, right? This is true. Therefore, minus 10 is congruent to 7. Therefore, m is congruent to 7 modulo 17, you can write. So, from this, what we can do? 17 divides m minus 9, no? Therefore, m minus 9, how to write? 17 times mk. So, m is equal to 17 times k plus 9, you can write. The same way, here, 17 divides m minus 7. m minus 7, how to write? Some 17 times some k, right? Or k1, you can write k1. So, therefore, m is equal to 17 times k1 plus 7 you can write. k is what actually any integer, right? Suppose k is 0, so m is equal to 9. But in the second case, you see k1 is suppose 0, m is equal to 7. k1 equal to 0, k is equal to 0 is not possible. You can start from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 5. The same way you can take 1, 2, 3 up to 5, you can take it. So, you can find the fine number of solutions. If you put here k is equal to 1, what is that? k is equal to 1, if you take m is equal to 17 plus 9 will be 26, right? So, k is equal to 1 means 17 plus 7, it is 24. So, definitely it will be fall in 10 to 100. So, the same way you can proceed 1, 2, 3 up to 5. It should be less than 100. It should not be more than 100. It should be from 10 to 100. So, here 5 solution is possible. Here 5 solution is possible. Totally 10 solution is possible. You can verify this. Within short time, we cannot explain completely, you can do it students.